All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today. And this time, I'm here to take a look at the brand new trailer for Angel Has Fallen, the third and final movie in the Has Fallen franchise, um, or the Fallen franchise, I don't know. The reason why I'm saying it's the final one, because I'm sure this one's going to bomb, because nobody, literally nobody, is talking about this one. Uh, who knows? I thought the same thing about London Has Fallen, though, and that movie did very well. So, I don't know. Uh, I really liked Olympus Has Fallen. I thought it was just fun, kind of die-hard rip-off, except in White House. Then literally, like, two months later, a another movie with the exact same premise came out with Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx. White House Down, I believe. That movie was not very good. But I did like Olympus Has Fallen. It was rated R. It was gritty. People were dying. Gerard Butler was back in action, so he wasn't doing no crap ass romantic comedies anymore it was a it was a quality movie i will say for what it was which means it was like a shitty action film so it was a quality shitty action film um now we have this one this one's only a minute long look at this trailer uh oh wait hold on let me just fix this real quick i, I didn't put it for 720 anyway let's get to it what is that drones bitch run they're drones they're drones get the <laughs> Morgan Freeman's reaction faces in this movie are already killing me. Pretty much right away. So we're going on to die people. Ooh. You need to be a lot more careful. Agent Vanning is charged with the attempted murder of the President of the United States. You said it was from a car accident? Yeah. What line of work are you in? Computer sales? Uh, okay. A five man hunt is underway. Mike? You okay? What's going on? There's somebody else behind us. It wasn't me. I just want you to come here. Like that, that's not even. I love you. Doesn't even look anywhere near the same actress that played his wife in the past movies. You thought I forgot. I didn't forget. You're welcome. I love Nick Nolte, so. Don't worry about finding me. I'll find you. Yeah. All right. He'll find you. Yeah. Pretty generic, but um, I don't know. It could be fun. I don't really have much to say about that. I'm trying to find things to say. That trailer was so freaking bland. It was exact. I'm not even kidding. It was exactly the same as the last one, except condensed. Oh, but they added the whole like sci the psychologist thing, which that was almost interesting until you find out it was just a joke. He, he probably like needed to get himself checked out or whatever. Not psychology. He was a doctor, I think. Uh, or, or actually, I can't tell. He was a migraine. I couldn't tell. I think he's supposed to be a doctor. Because why would he want to go to a psychologist for help? Um, so I'm assuming that's probably yeah, that's probably a doctor. He probably needed to get checked out for some reason or whatever. Or, I don't know, and then he's lying, oh, computer sales, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know, that could be in the beginning of the movie, uh, and he's just, it's a joke scene or something, I don't know, hey, did you guys see, hey, look at this thing, I just bought this today, I bought a little, bought a little sister, from Bioshock, ain't that cool, she was like a loot crate thing, and I bought her online, because I have a section of my, uh, Nobody cares. What am I doing? I have a section. I have a display case, and a section of it is dedicated to Bioshock stuff. So, bye. 